Mac G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. Uh, trippy in my silk shirt, loosen up the Tucker chain. 40 be my pit bull, my little pump and Gucci gang. Uh, big shit, all I pop is big shit. Chopper so long when I walk it, make me limp shit. Big shit, big shit, all I talk is big shit. Clip full of ball head, no movies in that big shit. No, no corners big enough to cuddle if I ever see some trouble My little Uzi go mumble mm. no, no corners big enough to cuddle if I ever see some trouble My little Uzi go mumble then switch up. Who them guys gotta scrutinize? Check the corner for them bluish lights You a pusher or you a buy? Got the hooker for a goodish price I don't do cause Simon got some good advice Who are you? Who am I? Who the truth, nigga? Who a lie? You be bugging. Is you wise? You a thug now? You the guy? Got them guns you never utilize. You adorable, a cutie pie. You look horrible in that disguise. What you couldn't do to suit and tie? Second chance to be a cooler guy. You in high school again, and you just high living in your own world. You would die. Trippy in my silk shirt. Fuck it up, dude. You can tell this was for the streets, right? It was like it was me paying homage to like where I feel like. I'm from like, you know, the underground and like the unapologetic side of hip hop where we're not trying to like say, oh no, we're appealing to this or appealing to that. Just taking the inspir drawing inspiration from all the stuff that I used to listen to, like be it 50 Cent with these mixtapes. Yeah, because uh, it sounds like game, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, that's what I was going for. Like just that gritty hip hop that makes you screw face. Like, mm, what's that? Yeah. That's what I wanted you to feel. Is there still an underground scene right now? <clears throat> I don't think that's flourishing. I mean, there's 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 like a sort of like underground feel, you know, to some of the music that that, mm. that, that gets out there, like produced by the kids. You know, somebody like K Tasso, I believe he still makes like he's like a hybrid because he's both throwback and like crispy fresh. You Got know what you. I mean? He's like in the middle. So when he digs into his like underground bag, it, it takes you back. It's it's almost like you time travel through through listening to this thing like yo this sounds so 2000 and mm. something like three yo it's hard and that's the kind of feel that i wanted like to also capture on this little ep you know just to All give right. a little bit of right uh next track is the next track is called lisa smile is that your baby mama no nah, it's, it's <laughs> 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 no it's not about my baby mom <laughs> lisa smile you got to listen to it in context of the of the of the ep even though like i i i i I play with your your mind and make you think yeah, it's real life stuff, but really it's it was just a concept right. about um, this girl I met. You okay. Know? But I used the skit from the album. All right, I mean, cool. from the movie. All right. You know what I mean. <laughs> How's this EP doing, bro? The EP is doing pretty great, actually. Like the reception, and of course, I didn't turn it into radio. Mm. It was like for the streets. There's no full clip. Yeah, no. It's, <laughs> <laughs> there's no season to it. It's doing pretty yeah. good on the street. Shorty pretty as a paint and saved the number and the Mona Lisa. Hey. We've been cool since before she started smoking reefer. Oh Actually met goodness. her on the net via social media. She liked the song I did a while back with Ayanda Gia. Texted back and forth about music a little bit. I know that she's a guy's girl just a little bit. Her closest homie is a distant cousin. I know she love her from the story she told me, but yo, that bitch be bugging. First time we met in person was at some club in the city. When I was down there working Much as I hoped that that night would turn out to be that perfect Not in my wildest dreams did I think I'd run into this girl And one day she'd be my girlfriend Yeah, it's the attraction and subtle chemistry hey. We kicked it like it was just us in the vicinity hey. The little itty bitty shy but had this vibe I liked Knew from that moment it was finna be my kind of night Wow oh, dude. You know what's crazy about this song? You could actually be talking about hip-hop as a girl <laughs> this guy, you actually got it. That was the point of the first verse. For real. Just to make it sound like I'm talking about hip hop. Yeah. I might be talking about a girl, but you don't even know. Yeah. But that was the point. I was trying to marry the two. So you're the first person in the interview who picked that up. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, my G. Thank it reminds so me of, you know, like the, the, the Tupac song that he did, Me and My Girlfriend. Yeah. Where he's talking about a gun. It exactly. took me 10 years to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That was exactly what I was going for on yeah. this one here. I wanted it to sound like, because I did the first verse way before I got to the second verse. So the first verse was scripted like, it's as if I'm talking about a girl, but I'm personifying hip-hop. Mm, you know what nice. I mean? Uh, Which is a talent that that's very hard to do, man. Thank you. Storytelling is also like something that, you know, I've noticed that people 
love hearing more of because it's it's such a scarce thing nowadays mm. in hip hop. It's all turn up and yeah. blah blah blah. But people want to hear more of that storytelling stuff. So I dug into that bag. Yeah. And I got a little bit. And know, how are you with the mummies, man? How many how many groupies have you chilled? Nothing. Ah, you lying. <laughs> I'm so washed, man. I'm washed. Like, I'm such a dad. It's like, I don't think they see me even. Sometimes it breaks my heart. I got a girl. I love you. Sometimes it breaks my heart. It's like, I don't see me. They don't know nothing. So your DMs aren't popping, bro? Nothing. Dry. Dry than Kalahari. It's it's rubbish. It's not the same. It's not like it used to be. Yeah, yeah. Ah, reminiscing on my old days. Because back in the old days, DJs were the ones popping. But now hip-hop hip hop guys are killing it, bro. Yeah, man. But also, these 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 these, these girls are woke, man. They see who's <laughs> popping, like, on the Instagram. They see, you ain't got a million followers. You ain't shit. You ain't shit, nigga. Shit. I got followed by A-Reach. You ain't shit. So, it's like one of those. You just got... <laughs> no roadkill, nothing. Like nothing. Just, oh, <laughs> just dry. Just... I'm right, right. like, the bag, I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go to the next one. This is bad, yeah? The next one is bad because you 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 into it like this. Bad was almost like like going from, from the previous track deeper into the next one. Mm, got you. I like it. Storytelling. Storytelling I'm seeing is my favorite. I think it's my strongest point, too. Yeah. Low key. Yeah. And so it's good to know your strong point, man. Yeah, you know. It took me a while to admit it to myself. I didn't like storytelling. Mm, yeah. I, I like... Uh, Bad to like the making bone. people dance in the club. Mm. That, that got addictive Bad at one point. Like, mm. Just in there at sumo when it was cold. Just making it and he's still getting no groupies. Yeah. <laughs> uh. This nigga's lying. <laughs> bad to the bone. Yo. I got word that you back in your zone. You hey. know, slay queening. Back in your throne. So you barely make time to even chat on your phone. You used to hit me like... Where you at? Is you home at your flat? You alone, such a nag. But nowadays, you don't even answer. Remember when we used to kick it at your spot? Hey. Play a little music, get a glass of Patron. Then you do your freakum dance like you bad and you know it. If I had another chance with that ass shit, you know that I would smash. Wouldn't even brag to the homies. Hey. Wanted to be saved, but I'm not that heroic still. I got the dank and the mow it if you ever wanna hang for a moment. I ain't even mean to double tap, I was scrolling on the gram. Mm. Shit, okay, I was trolling, I was wondering how you holding up. Yeah, your homie told you I would slow you up. I hate that hoe, I know you well and she don't know enough. She probably think I want you back just cause you glowing up. High rollers blowing up your celly. Snapchat booming in the five star telly. Hey. Flexing on them hoes. Bad bitch petty, that's just bad bitch petty. <laughs> Shit. We chose Still, you flexing you know on since they got none, bro. <laughs> when you ready. So in this one, <laughs> I'm like describing like a situation whereby, you know, you used to have the baddest thing mm. and she no longer fucks with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And all you see is her like doing dope shit like or 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 doing shit that kind of make you jealous like whenever you go and um stalk her social media she's doing some flash shit she has some five star resort with the girls tongue all out we've mm. all did you know snatches you snapchat know, just booming like, just like doing the craziest or at the club doing the most so i'm talking about that kind of thing like a relationship that used to be like this mm. but it's like gone and i'm kind of like i see you i can but yeah. You're not there, you know, yeah. just like a you jaded have, kind of situation. You've ever been cheated on? Yeah, of course. You're lying. Uh, of course, man. <laughs> Everybody, I, I don't think there's one person who's not. Beyonce got cheated on. <laughs> Everybody been cheated on. <laughs> I've been cheated on, you know. Yeah. Um, Did you do a track like after that moment? I've never, man, you know, I've never, I've never made a song about something that like, that affected me now. Mm. Now. You know, I can never drop like, you let it simmer. I let it simmer. Mm. I have to be. I have to be sure about my thoughts and my emotions. Like, what am I feeling? And even when I tell the story, I will change names and whatever, and events and dates, because it's about the story. I don't want it to be about my life. It's more about the story and the experience. And for people who who out there might have gone through the same thing, sort of like find like you know some sort of comfort in my story that no you're not alone everybody gets dribbled or yeah everybody does this or everybody's done that you know what i mean just i mean that's the point of music i guess for people to have like uh yeah, let's uh, pause let's pause yeah that i one. got you yeah. for people to have like 
to hear your stories and be like, yeah, I can relate. I know mm. what that's like. I know what that feels like. So it's never really about me when I'm telling a story. I don't want it to be about me, in fact. I just want it to be about the listener. Like, oh, I know that. You're Man, talking about jealousy. Okay. Do you is there someone you look like maybe a nasty C and you look at his um career and you're like shit, I I'm wish most, that was me. I'm most jealous of nasty C. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> Who is it, dog? I, 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 I don't think I don't think anybody's more jealous of nasty C <laughs> than me. You know? It's like uh, it's like somewhere in between like this 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 um this love, like this, this crazy love for him, mm. the kind of MC that he is, what he represents and what he's done with his career and his music and how like the younger generation support uh, uh, um, nice. a hip hop act like him. Mm. And like just this, this, just, just this bit of uh, j- uh, jealousy because like, cause he's a lyricist. Everybody compares me to nasty, bro. Everybody's mm. like, I once saw a tweet like, <laughs> <laughs> I also a tweet like, what happened to Ginger Trill? And then somebody's like, yo, we replaced him with nasty. Hey, I was like, oh. shit. I was like, oh. <laughs> Man. I was like, I was like, damn. If these people can draw the similarities, because for me, it's an honor mm. to be compared yeah. to an MC who's as meticulous mm. and who cares as much as Nasty C cares about his pen. Because yeah. the kid is brilliant. Mm. Whether he's making Chaffinche mm. or he's talking about Mrs. Me. Mm. He's... He he pays as much attention would to you ever every do single a, would song. Would you ever do a track with him? If he'd let me within mm. five meters of him. Mm. Yeah, I'd get this ass whoop. <laughs> Open that can of ass whoop <laughs> on that ass boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would. I would. He's my favorite man. Him him and... Um, a. Reese? Him, Reese, um, Stogie, mm. and at Kid X. If I could get those guys... In the same youngster too, mm. in the same studio, for like five hours. Yeah, I'm coming out with the best hip hop album this country's ever heard. Get out of wow. here! Man. Get out of wow. here, man! I swear, because those are my favorite. We uh, gotta MCs make that happen, game. bro. I, 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 I don't see why we don't make that happen, bro. Cats is hard to reach, you know. Um, Cats is busy. Cats is out of the country a lot, you know, and and also it's like, um, you know, timing. You know, I guess mm. I got some stuff to do first for people to be like, oh shit, yeah. Let me, let, maybe I can get in some work with Trilly. Mm. You know what I mean? But if anybody wants to do it, especially if you're bigger than me, you mm. know it's harder to reach you. Yeah. But I'm going to keep trying to reach out to the homies and try nice, to get a man. song in. Nice. All right, cool. Let's go to the next one. And this then the next song is one of my favorite. For me. So, so this is Ali, ne? This is called Ali featuring Kate Tasso as well. Okay. Young nigga, hold your place. Turn it up there. Call your plug and keep your weight up. Yes. Clean those shades and spill champagne. Fire, bro. Yeah. My friend, you, 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 you. hit those streets and keep your blade up. Yes. Mm. They try to ride on This is way. you. Diamonds, Muhammad Ali. This is Kate Tazo. Almost sounds, almost sounds similar, but Shabba he's got a deep, more intimidating mm. voice. Muhammad Ali. And you hear, Watch how they dance just let him play to the second hook as well. You hear what we do. Shabba ranks with the bling. Shabba ranks with the bling. Watch how they dance in the club. Double cup for the pain. I got a vibe with the plug. Double D's on the tang. She trying to vibe with the thug. She want to try all my drugs. I'm hiding them out of love. I had to snatch out of love. We just keep doing the dance. Yeah. She front like she do with a man's, yeah. Tonight we gon' do it again, yeah. I like how she do on the gram, yeah. I might just come through with the cam, yeah. And direct the movie for fam, yeah. And send him the pilot, I know you're staying. You homies is new to stand, yeah. Call your plug and keep your weight on. Mm. I want you to hear Clean those shades and spill champagne on. Hit those streets and keep your bleed on. I can hear J. Cole jumping on this, dog. They try to ride on your way. Diamonds Muhammad Ali. Diamonds Muhammad Ali. Watch how they dance on the ring. Watch how they dance on the ring. Call me Suchi with the bass. Call me Suchi with the bass. Shabba ranks with the bass. Shabba ranks with the bass. Diamonds Muhammad Ali. Diamonds Muhammad Ali. Watch how they dance on the ring. Watch how they dance on the ring. Call me Jango with the chains. Shabba ranks with the bass. Damn, my G. I won't lie. It's one of my favorite joints on this baby. Oh, man. Dude, what I, I like it. about you is like uh, 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 you make love to the beat, man. Thank you so much. Um, I try my best, man. You know, like when I go into the studio to make a song, I try to make sure that I don't recognize the person coming out of the speakers. Mm. You know, it's it's I'm so super involved with like doing what's best for the song. So when you hear it, whether I'm here or not, it, it just becomes timeless. You can just be like, oh, whoever that is is good. And the song's good. Yeah, yeah. That's all I want when I go in there. So give me your top five rappers in SA right now. Woo! 
Tricky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, well, Stogie's okay, okay, definitely okay. in there. No, man, you know, Stogie, I don't want to put him in okay, my top because yeah, yeah. it's everybody's top five. Yeah, yeah. It's like, ah, all right, you know, the likes of Stogie, Proverbs, Zabs, yeah, it's, Pro it's, Kids. It's, yeah, I don't want to mention them anymore. All right, you let's know? go, let's go. So, my top five right now, I'd have to say, I got Youngster, hmm. I got Kid X. Hmm. I got Kid Teeny, hmm. I got Nasty C, I got Aries. Wow. Yeah. No AK. Oh, one more Oh, I want that to work. Not that he can't be number one, but he proved for me, AKA was in my top five of rappers rapping mm. back in 20, like 12, 11, like 2012, 13, when he was rap rapping. AK doesn't rap. He's a pop star. Yeah. You know? Um, I put Shane Eagle before I put AK in there. Wow. Yeah, because like, w- my top five is the top five rappers rapping mm. right now. Not not making hits or making yeah. what. That's yeah. cool. That's dope. But rapping. Reason? Damn. And that's almost unfair. That's almost It's almost unfair because reason is like, what does he owe right you? Now. Does he owe you as well? I owe him. <laughs> <laughs> I owe him. I don't lie. But I can't put, I don't want to put like reason there because reason is, is almost like it becomes non, a no contest whenever yeah, he's in a list yeah, for me, you know? Because I'm saying it, this is my, this is from like the climate right now mm. of like the guys whose projects I'm listening to. Azania was like the best rap album of 2018. Mm. It's the quintessential mm. album, you know, hip-hop album in South Africa. So it's like, okay, that's, that's there. That's num- but right now, I've been excited to see like, yo, Reese drop some nails, baby. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm excited for a Kitini project because the last time I heard a Kitini project was in 2016 when he dropped Coming of Age. Mm. And I haven't heard a project since. I listen to strings and bling, but I'm hungry for more. I'm like, mm. hey, man, this guy, you know what I mean? And Kid X is just like, th- he's the best, man. None of All us right. can rap better than him. All right, cool. And Let's do the last last track, yeah? The last track is called, it's actually the title track, Piff. Piff. And I don't mean it like paid in full. I mean it like Piff, like dope. Yeah. And it's the last song. All right. Explain this one, yeah? What is going, what is going yeah. Yeah, here it's like yeah. it's dope. Even it's the cool. kids, guys, you know what this is? It's yes, cool. but that's a kilo of coke. That's a kilo of coke. How much is worth? How much is worth? Twenty-five thousand. Niggas started talking like they own the crown. They Aye. getting gas to start to joke around. They know the clown on the internet when they smoke the loud. They, they fix their lips cause they sober now. They're basing your voice, you gon' have to tone it down. See brainstorming on drugs is what probably cloud their judgment. I shoot a blank and I laugh it out, they gon' try to duck it. I made you look, my nigga. Hey, who getting all the buckets? I end you all in public, don't ever fuck with. Y'all niggas know the truth. Yeah, fuck all that tweeting, I'm in the vocal booth That's the notion I'm open to Way too many quotables How old are you, man? Real threats ain't downloadable Standing next to me, you not the best You the closest to it. Man, I ain't get the message in the pussy right now Are you coming for everybody on this one, I came for heads, bro I wanted to see heads roll on this one Yeah Fuck my man Explosives beat Uh... The engineer, he actually produced that. Yeah, that's dope, man. And I wanted that was like my mission statement. If if it was KO's album, this would be like the mission statement. Yeah. In KO's album, because it's all about just the bars and what what being dope means to me, it, basically. What was it like working with uh, some of the DJs, like Speedster, uh, Zandy, Dimples? <laughs> my favorite must have been. Uh, my favorite is Dimples. Dimples I don't know. Man. Like, do me so easy to work. Yeah, with. he's got that vibe, man. He's chilled. He's like everybody's friend. Whenever mm. I see him, I feel like I haven't seen my long lost friend. Even the first time we worked together, he invited me over to Anati studio and we did, I did two tracks on Zill. One, it was me and Pages and the other one was me, Sia Shezi and Younger Chief. Yeah. And, and it's always easy working with him. But I also enjoy Speedster because he's cool. It's yeah. just always cool hanging out. We did Nigga Gotta Work back when he was still with Sypho. Um, who else? Who, which other DJ? DJ Younger yeah. used to be my DJ. But we we haven't released records yet. We're still gonna release like um, the records. Uh, Do hip hop cats have like a WhatsApp group? Because uh, there's a house DJ group. 
I heard hip hop cats have a WhatsApp group that I'm not in. Yeah, neither I'm not. I'm not in the house DJs. Right? So they don't like <laughs> us. Okay. <laughs> so so me and you are in the same WhatsApp group. We the same. Okay. <laughs> I'm watching you guys. But I've heard about it. I've heard about it. Um, Who's in hip-hop. that group? Who's in that group, bro? Everybody except me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, I'm talking like every, <laughs> even the guy you expect to not be there <laughs> and me in his place, he's there and I'm not in there. I and know. I'm just like, fuck all that, man. Ah, man, fuck <coughs> man you know? So listen, we're about to play a game now. Yes, uh, it's called One Must Go. Yes. I'm going to give you two names and then you must tell me which one must go. Yes. Let's start with Squatter Camp versus Tear Gas. Yes. Ooh. One Must Go. Squatter. Only because there was <gasps> two. Only because there was two. Moya! Menu. There was two menu of them. Yeah. So now it's like, ish. I love you guys. Yo, Slick, I love you, but you guys got to go. Because yeah. it's too many. It's like seven versus three. I'd rather go with the three. Easier to manage. Three, only three verses to listen to. Yo, and there's a nigga that gave you verse of the year, my nigga. I love you so much, bro. <laughs> Don't you stop. Don't ever stop. How, but did that, how did that change your career, verse of the year? Is that like a big thing in the hip-hop space? Cats are trying to front like it's not. Okay. But I feel like, for me, it was... it. It's Because it's my first like award ever. Mm. Like ever, ever. Yeah. And I got it from a hero of mine mm. also. Because Togi, maybe I don't say it enough. Maybe people don't know. It's he, I'm not his favorite rapper. He's my favorite got rapper. You, you know what I mean? Like, I grew up listening to this guy. But and you still uh, murk him on a track. If I catch him slipping. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I catch him, you know what I mean? And maybe he had a relaxed day. <laughs> And he doesn't hear my verse before he leaves. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might give him a, a whip him. But um, I mean, for me, I think that it means a lot because it means bars matter. Yeah, that's what it means. It means lyricism, taking care of the craft. It matters. So, kiss my purist, friend like, my nigga, uh, nigga. yeah, you know, I, I'm from yeah. that era. You know, kiss my friend like it's not a thing, but it's a thing. All right, uh, one must go. Kuli Chano took singang. Oh wow, oh wow, bro. <laughs> It's gonna have to be Tooks. Tooks ah. I don't think there's a better song than um five hundred I see that. Ke same, ke let live. Matters of the heart, let go, let love, let burn. Hey, ah, man. <laughs> that was the best song in the world. Like yeah. uh, but it's gonna have to be Tooks because um uh Kuli is so incredible. He's like He's like top 10 dead or alive. Like nice. ever, ever, mm. ever. Not Motsuako. No, no, no. Yeah. Rappers. Yeah. He's like so good at what he does, man. And I can't, I can't, I couldn't. He can't go. He has to stay. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you think he's fit in terms of uh, moving with the times? Do you think he's adapted well? He, he, I think, I think, I think he's like a, a, a pioneer. Like mm. he's like the father of cool. He's only a father now because he's OG. But he's been cool so long. People don't realize that a lot of us, stole a bit mm. of this, a bit of that from him. A lot of us, mm. even the most prominent MCs, you know, um, we got some of the stuff from him, you know. Uh, you can use my toothbrush, <laughs> pick up line that I learned from Kulani. That was Casper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like the coolest MC Mtsuako has ever had. Hip-hop has ever had, I think. Cool. Uh, oh, this one's tough. Aries, Nasty C, one's gotta go. Man. <laughs> <laughs> can I just... <laughs> Can I just keep them both? No, no, no. What's gonna go, my G? What's gonna go? Nesty's an impeccable MC, yeah, bro. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, man. Nesty, Nesty's like a... He's an impeccable rapper, bro. Aries is good. Like, 10 out of 10. Like, don't don't get me wrong. But Nesty... Nesty might just be better than us. Like, Stogie knows, too. Mm. I, I know you know, right, T? When you found him and you put him on the way, go... This guy might he's be so young, bruh. But he's got the mind of like a forty-year-old. Hey, my nigga. <laughs> I'm like, this guy how does he know this shit? <laughs> he raps like the craziest stuff. He says the funniest stuff in the middle of a verse. Please just touch it. <laughs> 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 and then he carries on with the rhyme scheme. You know, he's he's incredible. The kid is incredible. <laughs> All right, here's the next one. El Tito Mugs. Glitz Gang forever. Yeah. I still feel like the honorary member of Glitz Gang. It's gotta be it's gotta be Tito, you know, because Tito. Muggs gave me breakout. Mm. Breakout breakout made me believe in who I wanna be. I was like, there's nothing wrong with who you wanna be, bro. Just from listening to what Bongs and Muggs did with that pro- that project was ahead of its time. Shout out to my girl K Fly, my con forever. Mm. She put me onto that album back in Porch's room, like two double O what what. Mm. But I think <laughs> it'll have to be um Magazini. Uh Reason or Black Liz. 
this is biased. <laughs> This is this is biased, you know. You know, hip and hop's dead. This is my guy, yeah. but I love Black Les. He's one of the first. The hip hop cats in like in Khaute, PTA was the first scene to embrace me. Okay, so the likes of Enve, the likes of P Dot, the likes of Black Les, they were the first one to hang out with me. Like, yo, young Trio, what's up, man? And chill out because they be at tinism.com. Oh my, my big boy Tini would take me over to their shit, uh, to their studio. And you know we make music over there or pull out or whatever. So, yeah. but it's gotta be Questa Cool Cat, man. Cool Cat, I love you, bro. You know I love you, but you gotta go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go, Questa. <laughs> the, the, the car, man. Yeah, yeah. The car is the best. Yeah. Mm. But he's sort you. You sort of remind me of Questa because he's been in the game for a while, man. I appreciate that. And he's only started like booming like a few years back. Go to go to years, which yeah. is like 2015, 16. But he's been around. He's been around. Crafting. For me, Cuesta, amongst our peers, he's like the proper, he's like the OG. He's even our OG because mm. he's one of those like nasty, straight out of high school to the league. Mm. And he's got a knowledge of wealth. Mm. Him and Nota, in fact, the Rap Life Camp, yeah. they've got a knowledge of wealth that you can't even buy like those years put in mm. like under the watchful eye of like I'm a like um, um, uh, uh, slicker and um, sugar smacks mm. teaching you how it works, teaching you about numbers, mm. teaching you about charts, teaching you about gigs, the seasons and, and all that, what having a hit means. Yeah. But they didn't teach you about groupies though. Nobody ever tells you about that. <laughs> it just kind of, it just, it just kind of smacks you across the face. <laughs> you know? Sugar <laughs> smacks. <laughs> yeah, nobody teach you about that. But yeah, Questa Questa is, is the best. And to be compared to him for me is like it's like a huge compliment. And uh, Muzli or Boiti? One must go. I'll have some Boiti with the side of Muzli. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um it's gonna have to be Boiti only because I've known her forever. Okay. Yeah, Boiti's one. She's from my hood. Is it? So I'm I'm like a huge fan, not just of like Boiti the MC, but just Boiti the the whatever it is she's doing. Yeah. Because she's from... Uh, but Moosley's my girl, though. Mm. Like, I love Moosley. Yeah. Oh, I love Moosley. But it's going to be... I heard Boyd was freaky, man. Is back, she? Back in I those days. I never, I've never seen that side of her. I don't know. Is yeah? She? I don't know nothing. You don't know? Should we call her? No, I don't... Don't call her. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I respect her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I then, love her. I come for you, you come for Boyd too, man. Yeah. Yeah. And then lastly, Casper, a.k.a. One's got to go, man. It's got to be Casper. Not because not because I don't think AK is better or like who's better than who. I've known Casper for long. One time I remember Casper played me and that guy over there, um, the album that was under Impact Sounds that he grabbed on my house. Because mm. I've known him for so long. Mm. His dream and what, like, what he's accomplished is like, it's weird. It's like knowing somebody. Mm. And he always said it. He was like, I'm going to be big. I'm going to be big as Kanye West. Yeah. Cool. And niggas would be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But me and this guy used to look at him like, what are you doing? Do you see this guy here? <laughs> Got that twinkle in his eye. I think he mean what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> I think he, everybody, was just, everybody would hate. I would just, yeah. This guy's serious. He yeah. means it in his yeah. stance, in his posture. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's got to be Casper because I saw, I saw the journey for longer. Yeah. Not because Levels isn't the best album in the world. Yeah. Well, I sleeping on you, John. I know people are sleeping on me. They were sleeping on me. Because mm. I know it's you got the streets on, on lock, bro. It's, it's not just people, man. People show me love. The streets show me love, man. Like, But crossing over to like commercial success is like a number of things. You know, it's like, like we said, it's a team. It's your song getting on radio. It's your song. It's you being seen Is and radio heard. still that important? Not really, you know. Mm. It. But the charts can dictate everything. Gotcha. If you on, if you on all the charts all the time. You're going to get gigs. You're gigging, bro. Yeah. If you're gigging all the time, people see you. People hear you. People interact gotcha. with you. They see your brand. It's almost like, bro, like... Shout, shout out to my man, uh, uh, DJ's boo. It's almost like Mo Fire trying to compete with Coke. Because mm. Coke is already accessible. People mm. are already familiar with the taste. People yeah. are already... So for him to break it out, he has to be as aggressive as he is. So I'm going to keep telling people they sleeping on me until I go platinum. Yeah. That's just what it is. I'm yeah. going to be aggressive about who I am and why I think I'm the next thing you need to hear. I'm the best thing you should have been heard because that's just what it is. I have to, I have to get my brand out there. Yeah. You know what I mean?
No, That's but like cool. I said, man, everybody has a time, and I think it's Thank important you. to have people like you in the game, people that are purists that, that are doing it for the right reason, you know. Thank you so much, Mitch. I appreciate and, that. And then ah, the rest will fall at you. Yeah, you know, <laughs> blessings. <laughs> music, music transcends um, time. Yeah. Boundaries. Yeah. It's timeless. You it's know timeless. I mean? Thank you, man. And if I it's good, people that. will find good shit. Yes, sir. That's true. That's true. So I'm gonna just keep doing my thing until you know the yeah. fat lady sing. Yeah. And how we at like right now? What are we busy with? What's right now on? we busy on this album. Y'all ain't ready. Me mm. and my man Explosive got something in, you know. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't have any features. Ready. I don't, I, I'm not big on like features because people get bougie about that kind of stuff too. <laughs> like people I consider my peers, are, yeah, man, yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't really call, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really call out cats, but my friend made me notice um, it's, a, it's an important thing to do. So those who are willing to open their doors to me, of course, I'm going to give them a call. And you then know? would you do like a piano track? Hell yeah. Yeah? I'm better than everybody at this shit. They just don't know you, man. Serious? I would. Piano. <laughs> Come on. I do it. I love piano. My friends know. The true gang knows, man. I get down to I'm a piano all the time. I think my piano was secretly born in the Northwest. People just don't know it yet. Like, because I've known that sound. It's so familiar. Yeah. I've known it for so many years before it was coined or dubbed. I'm a piano, so mm. I'd definitely do it just to be just to be like, yeah, I did it. Yeah, you know. But I'd love to see a track with you, Nasty, uh, Aries, Ooh. and the Big Hash. That would be fire, my thing. I got something with the Big Hash. Uh, from Patrick Lee, actually. How good uh, is that guy, the bro? The Hash is unbel- He's like an yes. alien. Yes. That whole internet wave, that whole gang, that whole label. It's unreal to hear it. Mm. It's, it's, it's more magical to see it happen. It's like even the mics. They're using different mics, dude. I don't know how they do it, bro. <laughs> Seeing this kid... You know when you hear it, you're like, ah, it's done. To see him make it, it's like, no, man. How did you... <laughs> no, man. <laughs> the kids are special, bro. Yeah. The kids are really special. Maybe one day. Ginger Trill, man. Thank you so Thank much, you so much man. I appreciate that, bro. Uh, where you at? Where can people follow you? Instagram. We've got to get those DMs popping, dog. <laughs> nah, my girl, kill me. Uh, follow me. <laughs> Follow me at ginger underscore trill. Uh, that's at ginger underscore T-R-I-L-L on Instagram and on Twitter. And on Facebook, follow my page. That's ginger trilly, one word. G-I-N-G-E-R-T-R-I-L-L-Y, one word on Facebook. Thank you so much. Podcast and chill, we out of here. Boom. Episode 81, baby. <laughs>